Yeah, Alice, I got my hands on one of these tasers today. They're small and easy to carry, but they deliver quite a blow. And uh, the police demonstrated firsthand how these devices work and what they can mean for those breaking the law. Stop resisting or you're going to be tased. Pocomoke City policeman Arthur Hancock shows off the department's newest weapons. Tasers. They had two already, and now on their way are one of these tasers for every patrolman in the city. Tasers are used for the officer safety and the community safety. That's the department's chief, Kevin Sewell. He says these tasers, which shoot out 50,000 volts, are necessary to keep the officers safe. Now, these officers would only be using these tasers if they were in a situation where they felt like they were in danger. They would turn, point it at the subject, and press the trigger. Five seconds later, the subject is subdued. And typically, it takes just one of these five-second cycles to stop the person, something Pocomoke policemen know well. They've all been tased in their training, so they know what they're dishing out when they pull the trigger. It's a feeling I can't describe. Um, no control over my body functions, uh, unable to move at all. These tasers are typically not fatal, although there have been instances where people have died if they have weak hearts. In the past year, when they had only two tasers, the Pocomoke Police Department has deployed only two times, and Sewell hopes that the usage stays low. They'll give up. And we have had that situation where a person, if you don't stop, I'll tase you. Hey, you got me. Stop resisting or you're going to be tased. Another weapon in the arsenal for police in Pocomoke City. Now there's, of course, some opposition to the use of these tasers. I spoke with some people today who say that just as with all weapons, they must be used with restraint from the officers. Back to you, Paul and Alice.